All right, I uh, got chat GPT-3 hooked up to, you know, metahumans. Uh, essentially, this is, uh, okay, this is the chat GTP uh, utils file. And it's pretty simple. Uh, I can post this to the, uh, you know, GitHub for people that don't want to type the stuff in. Uh, obviously, you're going to need your OpenAI uh, API key. If you do not have that, you can watch other videos on the internet that show you how to get that. But you're going to need it. So, it, it's basically uh, a little bit different with this message uh, dictionary. Uh, no, it's a list. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Um, but, and I'm going to give you a link to another video that you can look at and it'll explain all this stuff. But essentially, you have the system and assistant. Uh, this is your prompt. Uh, this is the first thing that's going to go to um, chat GTP and it's going to continuously be sending this content but it's also going to be adding to this list as well so what I'm doing is you know you have text coming in uh, the role is user and the content is the text that's coming in I add that to the message log and then I send that message log to uh, you know chat completion and then once we get the response back we pull out what the answer was and then we're gonna put that answer back into this log so this log is going to grow um, and eventually we're gonna have to do something about that of course I say right here that the the name is Ada and we can look at this, you know, you are a chat bot. You know, this is just kind of telling, you know, giving the context. And you can ask, you know, what the bot's name is. It'll say Ada. And we have, uh, you know, the whole thing there. So we're building this list up as we go. And in the chat um, utils, if it's, if you're running it this way, then you can have uh, user input. Let's change that to Ada. And you can type something in, you can send it, and then it will print it. Then what we have is, let's see, this is in this direct uh, directory, okay. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is for experiments. So, you know, let's fire this thing up and see how it works. Uh, the way we do that. And as you can see, there's chat GPT here. Uh, this chat bot uh, at Socket.io. Um, I guess we can go over this real quick. You know, socket IO is just basically uh, we import this, GTP3 is out. And this just sits here in this loop and it gets, uh, we're still gonna use Google Speech for right now because it seems to be fast. And um, the AWS stream texting is still needs some some kind of work that I have to do to it. But uh, so, yes, you will need a, you know, Google account and you'll need an API account. And you'll need an API key and all that wonderful stuff. And I go over that, uh, but uh, I need to put all this together to where it, it's relatively simple to use. So this is just our regular loop here, not doing chat GTP anymore. Uh, we're not doing GTP3 anymore. That's that. So here's the converted text. And then what we're going to do is build this packet up. Uh, 
telling Unreal what to say. So this is the command, and then this is uh, what to say. In the past, what we would do is we would uh, create the, the wave right here from Google um, text-to-speech and then display it or play it here. But that's what AWS Poly is going to do for us. So let's crank this thing up. We come back in here. Uh, this is still kind of goofy. But uh, we get the server running. And everybody connects to the server. And then we come over back over to here, and then this is going to run this guy. Okay, so now we're running. And while this is doing this, we're getting the responses back. And it's relatively quick, but it's going through a lot of hoops. Chat GTP is. Uh, a little bit slower but we'll let everything um, you know it's trying to respond back so let's be quiet for a minute hello I'm Ada what would you like to talk about today hi Ada how are you As an AI language model, I don't have feelings, but I'm here to help you. How can I assist you today? I'm feeling happy. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what you mean by 360 today. Could you please provide more context or detail about what you're experiencing so that I can better assist you? Can you tell me a joke? Sure, here's a joke for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing? What's your name? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what you mean by 56. Could you please provide more context or detail about what you're experiencing so that I can better assist you? I'm going to go now. Okay, take care. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any further assistance in the future. So, uh, what you saw there was the text coming into uh, the BP, and I've kind of gone over this before. I'm not going to really do it here until later on. Sorry, there's some other videos that go into this. I just wanted to put this uh, video up because I haven't posted in a while. I was working again on the AWS streaming um, speech to text and uh, it still has some issues that I need to work through. Also what you're seeing here is um, we're not like, uh, I don't know if the word is correct, gating the dialogue. Uh, things are just coming in and uh, we're not getting, we're not being told, you know, don't talk. And we, we can do that because this is a callback from Unreal. So that's kind of the next step I'm going to play around with and um, as well as the AWS uh, speech uh, to text. And um, Hopefully that'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit better experience. So we need this mechanism. Uh, so when uh, Ada is talking, a message gets sent out. You know, right here. This is when, uh, of course, this is when the uh, app first cranks up, and it says this. But, and then also we have a delay, we need to work on uh, a, a setup to where it fires when it's done talking. And then uh, as we're doing that, we can uh, basically control the, you know, 
when things are being said and when things are when one person's talking the other one needs to shut up and vice versa and there also needs to be some kind of a timer that when the other person doesn't say anything then the uh, original person can come in and say you know is there anything else I need to help you with things like that so quick video on progress um, that was relatively simple to do if you want to uh, learn more about how this is happening I would suggest you go over to uh, Sam's uh, uh, channel right here and he goes into uh, this video right here he goes into the details of why you're calling the things you're calling uh, for chat uh, uh, GPT but the really cooler thing that's happening is the uh, this lang chain and people are using lang chain to control chat GPT and give the conversations memory uh, because you only have so many tokens you can send uh, to um, to this API and since we're building up this conversation and this log, we still need to keep this content right here because it gets sent every time. But th this part underneath here is the full conversation. So what they do is they start summarizing uh, what I say they in, in the Lang chain. Uh, it will start summarizing what's going on and and then the summary gets sent to chat uh, GPT and not this long if you can imagine I'm moving my mouse you can imagine this array is going to get larger and larger a to keep the uh, token count down because you have to pay for the tokens but as well as um, you know carrying on a relatively long conversation uh, you have to manage that so this code is not doing that and um, it probably needs to so anyway that's what I have so far uh, again I have not done anything with um, the metahuman side of it um, I don't need to. That's the beauty of Socket IO. Uh, but eventually, like I've said in my last couple of videos, going in and um, uh, doing some more uh, animation uh, control and um, obviously getting the dialogues, you know, working back and forth to where uh, one person talks, the other person listens, and vice versa. So. Uh, the code is relatively simple, but the APIs, um, API keys you got to have to make all this work. So, hope you enjoyed it and um, stay tuned.